why you don't do drugs, for real. There we go. Bro, oh, it's literally steaming. Today we're doing some uh, pretty dope. I feel like I'm gonna do some stuff that I've been wanting to do for a while because it's super nice out. What I'm gonna do is basically, I have a new pair of shoes I really wanna skate. I'm wearing some like running shoes right now because the shoes that I've been skating lately are really like uncomfortable and they squeeze my feet too much. They're the New Balance Jamie Foy's. And so basically what I'm gonna do is when I go home, I'm gonna pack up my car, make sure I'm all ready to go skate. I cleared the memory on my phone. I finished part two of the documentary thing that I'm doing right now. And I'm gonna start shooting part three of it today. And so I'm super stoked. I feel like today's already off to a good start. I cleaned like my whole house and everything. And then I took one of my dogs for a walk. I still need to take the other dog for a walk, but I'm gonna do that later. So, yeah, this is the start of the vlog. It's your boy Stilo. We're back again, and uh, I'll probably see you guys when we're at home or when we're at a skate spot or something like that. Well, I was just driving and I was looking over here, and then I looked over this way, and I found this perfect gap, bro. This is like perfect for a backside flip. I've really been wanting to find a gap to backside flip, and there's lights. <laughs> I'm gonna put this in the vlog so I remember where it is. It's right off this road on the way to Hazeldell in the uh, Vancouver-like area. I gotta remember where this is. I'm gonna put it in my maps right now because I'm definitely coming back to the spot for a trick. It's gonna look super sick, especially like, I don't know how we'd film it. Probably like this for a backside flip. And then, I don't know how we'd film it actually, but it's gonna be sick. I'm excited because that's a dope gap. I don't know where the day always goes. Yeah, look at how beautiful this is. I have a sunrise that way. I have a sunrise this way. Yeah, no, it's pretty dope. Like I was just saying, I don't know where the day always goes. It's already like five o'clock and I've walked like three of my dogs today because I walked my sister's dog and then I walked my dad's dog and now I'm walking the family dog, like the dog I've had since I was younger. He's like 15, 16 years old. His name is Buddy. He's old, man. He's like 16 or 17, actually. He's well over 15 years old. I've had him since I was 12 years old, and I'm 28 years old, so he's actually over 16 years old. He's still trekking. He's living life, having a good life. We feed him really good food and stuff. But I'm just putting this in the vlog because it's already getting dark, and I don't know where the day went because I was vlogging earlier, and it was like 1 o'clock, and it's already been like 3 or 4 hours, and I've ran a bunch of errands and just had a bunch of stuff to catch up on since past few days were kind of hectic with thanksgiving and all that i'm gonna definitely go get a skate session i haven't really decided where i'm gonna go but i do still want to work on my front tails and then on my uh i try to, i want to try to learn front smiths i'm gonna get off here though because the flash is really bright bright and so yeah we'll be back Bye. just pulled up to downtown and uh it's pretty packed so I'm gonna find a parking spot and then we'll go get warmed up and start the skate session. Yeah. I finally found a spot to park my car and uh, I just pulled up to this little ledge spot that's I've been I've been seeing like I've saw it on uh, this like skate map thing. I want to try to get like a no side real quick on it. It is really tall, but I feel like at this point I'm getting good enough to wear this kind of like a warm up trick. So hopefully I can just get like one no slide on it. So if I can't get a no slide, then I'm probably just gonna delete this and then delete all the other clips I film of trying to get a no slide and just go somewhere else and skate. But uh, I have two spots in mind besides this. And so I had three spots in mind for this session. So let's get it. Bow. So yeah, this is the spot. It's kind of like, it's literally just a ledge. When I would see it on the maps, I thought it was way higher than it is. And I feel like in the video it looks higher than it is. But honestly, it's barely like, here I'll set my tripod down. It's like about this tall. It's like right above knee height. So, I mean, I feel like I can no slide it pretty easy. It slides pretty good. So let's try it. Before we start this session, I wanna try my new gloves out. I was gonna just snap them open, but then I was like, no, if I break them, I'll be so mad. There's a certain way you do this. And I don't know what the way is. There's a way. They have to make this so confusing. I saved this for this thing just to show you guys me opening this and I guess it might have been worth it because it might be a really big struggle. Never mind. Pretty easy. I don't know what the fuck just happened. Something happened. So. Oh, I snapped the band. I didn't think I could snap it. It was really thick. But alright, I got my gloves already. I'm super happy because it's been so damn cold lately that I want 
want to be able to keep my hands warm, not be frozen my entire skate sesh. Shout out to Ross. These gloves I can use my phone with. They have this little touch sign. I just tested them out. They're only 12 bucks too, so that's a pretty good deal. Pretty stoked about it. Yeah, I got my new gloves on and they feel pretty good. I, uh, the only reason I don't like them is because they remind me of Drake. But other than that, I like them. And since they do remind me of Drake, I really don't like them. But it's okay. I'm, uh, I'm at this ledge right now in downtown Vancouver. And we're going to skate. I have three spots in mind. So we're going to hit those spots. And yeah, I appreciate y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all for the support lately. It's been super dope. I'm probably going to take off this jacket once I get warmed up and go stop by my car. Because I just parked and it was super hectic. But yeah. So, of course, since I'm downtown, right when I start the skate session, this guy walks up to me all aggressively and starts talking about being polite and uh, not being aggressive or not being violent. Have a good night, brother. Right here, he's making eye contact with me and clapping his hands and saying, Prove me wrong, prove me wrong. I just want to skate, brother. Is it okay if I... Motherfucker, bro. He almost just got squabbled up, bro. I didn't even, I wasn't even, I wasn't even gonna pick up my phone because I decided I was like, I'm just gonna squabble with him, bro. <laughs> just to let y'all know, my vlogs have been about skating and eating more because I'm trying to get healthier and that shit is not cool at all. So, yeah, that shit's weird. Be careful out there in the streets because people like that are fucking weird. Forgot, I have this really heavy speaker in my pocket and I also have some strawberries so I'm gonna take all this stuff out of my pocket since that just freaked me out and I just got to be ready to squabble just in case he's harassing like a big group of people now so at least it's a big group of people and it's not just somebody by themselves like me because I was literally about to squabble up with that fool and like I'm not trying to be that guy but I've been in a lot of fights my whole life like just because like throughout my years of skating and like going around town some people have just had problems with me for no reason like that and uh, I've never been afraid to just, if, if somebody comes too close bro, you, you make me uncomfortable, I'm sorry it's game on because it's like, I'm not risking it bro, like I got too much to live for. Yeah, I don't like putting this in my videos, I'm sorry y'all, but I got my heart pumping, I needed to warm up for skating but now my adrenaline is going so now I already feel warmed up so that's a good thing but that stressed the f out of me bro, that was not cool. Thank you. That is a prime example right there of why you don't fucking do drugs, bro. That's why you don't do drugs, for real. Oh, I actually got on it. We gonna get this. Have a good night, boss. See, and everybody's usually chill. That's what's super awesome is like, most people are super chill, and so I'm sorry if I like got upset about that guy. It's just that that one guy like literally approached me. He was saying something about like, he was just saying scary stuff, bro, and I don't like when people are mean and like scary, bro, so I get all defensive, and so that guy was hella chill. I really appreciate when people are chill, because it's like scary, bro. It's like scary being out on your own, and people approach you and like scare you, you know? So, so far we've had one chill, one chill encounter, and then we've had one sketchy encounter. Let's get this nose slide. Bro. I got lotion because my hands are so dry and these gloves are really a godsend bro. I'm gonna get this no slide right here. I need to chill. I almost had it. These gloves aren't working man. Oh, I didn't like that at all. Bro, there's something else in my pocket bothering me. 
I gotta go take off this jacket, bro. Here are these gloves are not working. So good. So hard. All well, these gloves don't work. I just took off the gloves and jacket because I'm warmed up, even though it's super cold. It's just that I'm getting in the way those gloves don't even work the way I need them to. So I'm here to try now. I take everything off. That's how we do it, boy. That's my warm up now. I'm super stoked because I was actually pretty high no slide, but I gotta get two soaps true because you already know. If I get two soaps true, I'm definitely out of here because I don't like the spot at all. I don't like the location. I don't like all the weird people walking by. I just want to get out of here. too so it's true it's kind of weird out here i don't like the vibes plus i got all my stuff over here i need to go drop off most of it so i'm gonna go drop off most of it like my jacket and i had a vest on too so i was super hot and then my gloves and everything like drop probably drop off a lot of this and then uh yeah i'll go from there i have another spot i want to hit after this now i was just looking at the last clip no i did not toe touch i just want y'all to know that i did not toe touch <laughs> I just parked somewhere else because it was just sketch in that area and the other spot that I wanted to hit was in that area. I just don't think that I'm gonna come back until I have a homie with me. So I'm gonna go to my usual spot. It's gonna be a little bit of a cruise, but yeah, I'm probably just gonna time lapse it because I feel like it'll be fun to watch. So we'll do that right now. Bow. Well, I just got to the spot and I've never successfully lacquered something and it looks so good. It like literally looks buttery. Like it looks like icy almost. I'm excited to skate it. And then this part looks pretty good too. This is like the higher part. So I'm excited to skate this right now. I skated this in, uh, I skated this two vlogs ago. That's my water. I always use uh, old recyclable cups now because I kept breaking my water bottles. And so I just use old recyclable cups now. Like from when I get food at places, I just use the fountain soda cups. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna skate this right now. Probably just gonna do some more warm up stuff. Skate some flat ground up and down here. I'm gonna wax one of these curbs over here so I can do like a crook or a nose slide on that side and then come over on this side and then do a grind. I probably won't be able to show every grind that I do on each side, but it is what it is. I'm just trying to make a little spot right here. It's gonna be fun. Let's check it out. I got the whole curb lacquered up. Now I'm gonna come back and wax it in like 20 or 30 minutes or maybe like an hour or two, or maybe I just might come back later or some other time. But I got that whole curb lacquered up so now I can do some crook slappies or like nose slide slappies. Might try to make it longer in the future, but I just want to see how it slides up first, and then we'll go from there. Um, now time for the real star of the show, which is this curve. And uh, also, I want to see this ledge.
I got a few 50 50 180s out. Now I'm gonna try to do 50 50 front shove out. That's what I'll do. I'll do 50 50 front shove out and then I'll do 5 0. Honestly, might be the best angle I got. So I'm just gonna come oh, oh my god, it wanted it. Nope. Oh, there we go. That's how we do it, baby. I don't want to get hurt on a 5 on a curb, so... There we go. I think that was my long... 
longest and best one. Now I'm gonna do uh, tail sides. If I get this first try, that's gonna be crazy. Bro. session with the shoes. I said that I was going to switch them out, but I ended up skating them one more time. This is the last session, bro. They keep coming untied. I really don't like these Jamie Foy skate shoes. I appreciate all they've done for me, but my ankle already hurts from the nose slide. There's no cushioning. Oh, man. I can't wait to skate the other shoes. I gotta try this tail slide a few more times. I might wax up the curb a little bit because it's really crusty right now. Take off the sweatshirt, too, because it's super hot. Just wax it up a little bit. Try a few more times. Kind of slid. Oh, I got a better one in me. I think that was actually a pretty good one. Oh, that was scary. I think I'm about to get kicked out by security. I'm gonna wax my tail, bro. Let's see what happens. If I slip out and die, then I'm gonna be angry, but it'll be my fault because I'm not practicing these enough. Wax time. All right, right here, I waxed it. All right, I should be able to get it. Here we go. Too so it's true. Oh! -ho -ho. Dude, I'm so stoked because I feel like I got the five O's way better and I got the tail sides way better. I'm gonna try to get, and I got the 50-50 front shelves way better. I'm gonna try to get the tail side one more time, a little bit more butter and a little longer. And then after that, I'm gonna probably honestly like just wax and lacquer this whole thing just because I want to start getting this part prepped now that I'm getting better at my grinds. And uh, I want to wax more of this so I can do it for a longer time because once I'm able to tail side this whole thing, I want to tail side more. <laughs> this is really fun. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Dude, honestly, like I want to try other shit, but I just want to sit in that, like, really good. wasn't as good as I wanted it to be still really good because I never get tail slides like that easy or like that consistent and so I've been landing a whole bunch of these I'm gonna probably wax and lacquer this entire curb a little bit more I might try a few front smiths but honestly that might be the end of the skate session we'll see how I feel in like 10 minutes I'm gonna eat some strawberries and chill out for a second because I'm really tired I think I decided that I'm actually gonna learn front smiths because I really want to learn. Toes more. Ah, I got it. I waxed my kingpin in the curve a little bit. Oh, I almost landed it, bro. That's the first front smith I've ever. Oh, I did it. I'm about to learn front smiths. Check this out. Oh, I got it. Bro, I just landed a front smith. I can't believe it. Bro, that is my new favorite trick. Now I know why people do front smiths all the time. That is so fun. Yeah, bro, that's fun as fuck. I love it. Ah, sketchy. I 
heard somebody say if you're getting stuck to like grind it in your kingpin. But I feel like I should just wax it. That's part of like why I like grinding. It's hearing that I like that grind, so I like doing it myself. Oh, I almost ate shit. It's crazy. I didn't lean on my toes enough. Or well, like I leaned too toe side, but I didn't get on the thing enough. That's a scary reality for skating rails. Thinking about it. It's hard, bro. trick tonight. I'm so stoked. It's actually so sick. Oh, I got a salad. That's what it's called. Huh? I think. What is What is this called? Somebody chat. Tell me below. I need to know what this is. Like, I've heard different things. I've heard it be called a salad. I've heard it be called different things, but we're just going for the front smith right now. We got it. Alright, got stuck. Honestly, I think I might wrap it up right there because I got to finish lacquering this entire ledge and then uh, probably gonna dip out. So, yeah, Back before we end the vlog, casual. Oh my god, I almost dropped my phone. It was not casual at all. Um, sticker slap steel. I didn't want to put it too high. Oh god, I thought I wanted to put it in between there, but it still got up there. It's fine. Why I didn't end the video is because there's this fucking weird ass guy walking. And he literally like came up and he sat right here and he was just sitting there for like 20 minutes or like 30 minutes and then I spray painted it or I somebody lacquered this entire thing actually and so I got I made a lot of progress I'm super stoked curb is lacquered all the way down to there the ledge is almost lacquered all the way down to there and so I'm making a lot of progress I just need to get it all the way down to the very end and then yeah then I can skate this whole entire thing I'm for sure gonna do a 50-50 on the down part one day, I don't know when, but for now I'm just gonna do it on the curb because that's what my level's at, is just skating the curb. But yeah, now we're actually gonna end the vlog how we normally do. I can't believe I learned front smiths just now and I had a really good skate session. Overall it was kind of weird, but I had a good skate session. This was mainly just focused on like grinds and so I literally, I guess this vlog is literally just all about grinding. Like that's what this vlog is about. It's just about grinding. And so all we did this whole entire vlog was grind. And so I'm super stoked because I learned a new grind and then I got my tail slides down. I got my 5.0s down. I got my 50-50 front shoves down. My 50-50 front and 80s down. I got like so many tricks down and I got so many tricks in the bag now. So I'm excited because ledge skating is going to be a lot more fun. I'm not just going to be doing the same one or two tricks every time. Just no sliding 50-50. And so... Now I have a, diver a diverse bag of tricks. Super stoked I learned another new trick today. That's kind of my goal is just like learning a new trick every time I skate. And so, yeah, I appreciate y'all. We're gonna end it like we always do. I'm saying that just cause I feel like last time I didn't actually end it. I was just kind of being awkward cause like I was sitting in the background. I don't even know if I got him in the clip or not, but uh, yeah, we're gonna end it how we always do. Be safe, have fun, do what you love, skate and create. Bye. My tripod. No way. The power's completely out. Like over there and stuff, like behind me. All these cars are over here. And they're all turning around with me because like the entire power is out. Look at it. The power's out everywhere, bro. This is crazy, bro. I've never seen it like this. Look behind me. Completely black, bro. That's crazy, bro. It's completely black back there, bro. The only lights are car lights, bro. Like over here, it's lit up. Over here has power, but back there, bro, has no power. That shit's crazy. What the? F I wonder what happened.